guys and welcome back to another momtober video i hope you guys are enjoying this series so far um today i am sharing with you a fall what i eat in a day i figured i would share some cozy foods and just let you know like a typical day in our lives of eating so the mornings start out with my favorite coffee by nespresso it's the stormio pod it's a bold coffee but i feel like it's not bitter whatsoever and then i just recently started using this collagen so i do about one one scoop or maybe a little less and then I stir it around and of course add my favorite coffee creamer from Coffee Mate, the sugar-free hazelnut and this is just my go-to every morning coffee. <music> I will not be sharing these pumpkin pancakes in every video. I know this is like the third one that I've shared them in, but they are too good and we, I ate them for like three days in a row. <laughs> so I made some pumpkin pancakes the night before and I found the recipe on Pinterest, which I will link in the description box below, but these are so yummy. And to me, they just scream fall breakfast. I love a baked good for breakfast. It's just, I love carbs. I love sugar. It's, you know, it's a great combo pumpkin as well um and so anyway i popped them in the freezer and then in the microwave the next morning and topped them with some maple syrup and chopped pecans for a nice fall cozy breakfast <music> lunch today I made us some autumn soup I have never made a butternut squash or autumn soup just by winging it um, but it sounded really cozy and delicious it was a nice chilly fall day so I thought I would try my hand at it and it actually came out really yummy so the first thing that I did was saute some onion in butter in a sauce pot and then I did season it with a little bit of salt and pepper <music> When the onions were translucent, I added about a teaspoon of garlic and sauteed for about 30 seconds. And then I decided to take the easy route and use some frozen butternut squash. You can totally use frozen. You can use fresh as well. Just roast it in the oven for a little bit until it's tender. Um, and then I added some vegetable broth. You can use chicken stock if you'd like instead. I ended up using some apple juice and you can use regular apples or whatever to get that flavor in there. And then added some nutmeg for seasoning as well as a little bit of brown sugar. I accidentally put too much in there and it kind of 
dumped out. So just be mindful of that. Only a dash or you can use a dash of honey instead. And then also a scoop of canned pumpkin. And then I mixed everything together. I brought it to a boil and let it saute for about like 20 minutes or so, um, just until everything was nice and soft. And then I did put it in a blender. You can use an immersion blender food processor, what you, whatever you have on hand. And then I blended it smooth. And then I added a touch of cream at the last minute and mixed everything together. And then I topped it with pumpkin seeds as a little garnish and served it with a grilled cheese, of course. And it was so delicious. It was the perfect afternoon lunch. Try it yet? I did. What do you think of it? Oh, I I did it already. What do you think? It's yummy. It's a little bit like apple pie. Oh. It's like apple pie. That's like apple pie. Yum. Mm. It's a little bit sweet because I accidentally dumped that brown sugar in there. But that's really good. Mama, I do mm. like. Mama, I do like that brown sugar. You don't like brown sugar? No. Oh. It's so yummy. Mmm. I think it would be even better if I added a little bit of apple in there and then like cooked it down and blended it all up with an apple. <gasps> you did mm. pour an apple in there. You pour an apple in there and don't burn it up, okay? I'm usually not one to order butternut squash soup or like enjoy it really it's just not my thing but this is so good i want to dance with you everything's moving slower i don't know what it is you do tonight i wanted to do a tomato basil chicken pasta dish i think i had gotten inspiration from a pinterest search that i had done um but this just sounded really delicious so you're gonna need some chicken basil diced tomatoes some jarred pasta sauce and parmesan cheese i'll just walk you through it so the first thing that i did was brown some chicken in a pan with a little bit of oil looking at you all night trying to figure you out i just want to make you smile hold your hand in my hand looking at the sunset man you're looking good tonight i want to kiss you before the sun goes down it's what you do After flipping the chicken, I added some shallots and a little bit more butter to saute them and cook them through. And then I started a pot of boiling water and poured my pasta in here. And now this is the pasta that I got from Trader Joe's and it's like that butternut squash pumpkin shaped pasta um, just to make it a little bit more fall and festive. Once the chicken and onions were cooked through, I added some diced canned tomatoes with a little bit of the juice as well and then also some pasta sauce. Any jarred pasta sauce will do and then you can add some seasoning. I added some dried basil and oregano as well. Of course you saw I added some fresh basil as well a few leaves a couple of minutes before everything was together and then I added some cream cheese to this you can add a little bit of heavy cream um, some regular like maybe sour cream or cream cheese something to add a little bit of tang and creaminess to cut the acidity of the tomatoes and it just melted all in and made it like a creamy tomato basil you set my wheels in motion going crazy for you I feel like the ocean I can see you want this too cause you've been looking at me all night trying to figure me out I just want to let you know and I ain't playing no games baby you won't change I only want you I want to kiss you before the sun goes down it's what you do
Top everything with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and then that is your tomato basil chicken pasta skillet dinner. <laughs> it tastes exactly like you would expect it to, like a bowl of tomato basil soup in a pasta dish but it definitely works. So that is going to do it for my fall cook with me slash what I eat in a day. So I hope you guys got some inspiration on food to enjoy with your family and loved ones. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys. Uh, yeah.